close your eyes just for a second and ponder that one area in your clinical practice that's like a thorn, that thing that you, you want to help patients get better in an area, but the current protocol you have is just not clicking for you. You know there has to be something better. Well, I'm Dr. Debbie Osment, and I've been a private practice dentist for 30 years, and that area for me was the area of periodontal disease. Periodontal disease is a, an inflammatory gum infection. And it's one of those things that can be very insidious, like diabetes. People can think it's so normal for their gums to bleed, but we know from DNA saliva studies, we know when we see it healed that it's not normal. Gut bleeding gums are not normal any more than bleeding fingernails are normal. So, so what we do in my office is that we would do a deep cleaning, a scaling root planning, and we would follow that with either uh, systemic antibiotics or with uh, very targeted antibiotics in the pockets, and that would be minocycline. Both of these had short-lived benefits. I was not happy that we were giving antibiotics. It just didn't seem to make sense uh, to go in with big guns and, and, and try to kill things. It, it, but, it, but it's the protocol. It still is the protocol in many cases. However, that thorn in my foot is now relieved. And the way the thorn came out is uh, via Zymogen's DDS probiotics. And they contain BLIS. BLIS stands for bactericidin like inhibitory substances and they actually help break the cell wall of bad bacteria and they colonize good bacteria uh, in the mouth and especially at the dorsum of the tongue. So they're really terrific. So we started using these probiotics following the scaling root planning procedures and just observing the benefits. It's been nothing short of remarkable. We, uh, I, don't have a, I don't have a specific clinical study done in my office but the patients have been so happy that they, they find out their gums aren't bleeding. They find out they, as a positive side effect, they don't have bad breath anymore. And, and then we're seeing actually the, poc the pocketing reduced uh, or maintained without bleeding, which is health. So you can imagine my glee when uh, I got to see this new study that just got published. This is from the International Journal of Pharma and Biosciences. In my opinion, it's a very well done study. They took 28 people, divided them into four groups. There were seven men and seven women in groups one and two, and seven men and seven women in groups three and four. And all the people were very equal in terms of their disease. They didn't include any people who had previous drug use, which would predispose them to more periodontal problems. They, uh, they did careful selection with the people. It's, it's really a terrific study. And they, they all had very similar levels of disease. So they did scaling root planning, a deep cleaning on, all, on everybody. The first 14 people in groups one and two were given strep salivarius, Zymogen's um, form of oral probiotic lozenges for 30 days. The other group was not given the lozenges. They were checked at 15 day intervals. So at the first 15 days, everybody was pretty equal. They were still having all the good benefits from the scaling and root planning. By day 30 and 45, people started seeing some, some differing results. The beautiful thing is that even when the group taking the oral probiotics stopped the probiotics, they had sustained benefits from the probiotics they had taken for only 30 days. Now, in my office, the protocol is that we, we give everybody three probiotics after they get their teeth cleaned, even the non-gum disease patients. The people that have a deep cleaning or scaling root planning, they are given a three-month supply. And then when they come back for the recall, we evaluate. Typically, they love taking them because they just, their mouth feels fresher. They know they build up less tartar and plaque and they actually see, now they have less bleeding because at that point they've had a lot of education on how to, to maintain their mouth. The other probiotics I looked at tasted terrible. So there was no patient compliance. I mean, they have to taste good for people to use them. We tell our patients 
to have them on their bedside. There's enough things to do. When you get ready to go to bed, you're pooped out and you're, you're ready to just get your head on the pillow and conk. So with these, I have patients put them within arm's reach so that they can grab one in the dark, pop it out. It's in this nitrogen purged foil packet. So the bacteria is alive and I have them just put one in their mouth and let it dissolve. If they get up in the night and they have a really dry mouth, I have them put another one in. We have seen spectacular results in the office. So many people, even if they don't have periodontal disease, are taking medications, pharmaceutical drugs that are drying their mouths out. That's a common side effect. If you, if you would Google drugs that dry your mouth out, you would get a list a mile long. Another interesting area in my practice has been the decrease in C-reactive protein when the gums get healthy. We have several physicians that refer to us now and um, as, as they take blood tests and get a C-reactive protein and, and, and know that there's an occult area of inflammation in the body, they, they often know that it could very likely be the mouth. So when we perform skull and root planning and then the patient gets on the oral probiotics, we have seen the C-reactive protein come down as much as 10 points and even more. I don't want to brag, but even more. It's been so incredible to see patients get healthier with, with very basic affordable procedures and procedures that are maintainable. This is something that your, your busy patients who travel can, can put into their bag. It's a product that increases patient compliance. And as a dentist, patient compliance is one of the biggest things that I deal with. I've been um, just very happy with Streptococcus salivarius, and I encourage you to give it a try. Find a dentist that you can partner with who will do quality diagnostic care as well as non-surgical periodontal therapy where applicable and in proper education to help people get that area that can be managed of inflammation uh, dealt with. Thank you very much.